So preparing the template. Just like fellow scratch builder Michael Menkes, I start with a plain Strat template from Electric Herald. I increased the body bulge while still retaining the general Strat look to give the guitar a bigger volume body. I did this on Adobe InDesign as it gives me a very precise output. Then I print it on several pages, assemble, add double-sided tape and cut it out and attach it to a piece of 3mm MDF left over from packing. So, I'd like to talk about some of the ideas behind the project. Uh, my goal is to have a, a stock look that on close examination will show a bunch of groovy custom touches. So I decided to go with the Strat shape. I've seen various pictures of the Fender Acoustasonic. I've never actually seen or touched one in the flesh, but who cares. I'm building this my way and hopefully a bunch of little details will set it apart, at least to the expert. To the non-initiated, I want an impeccable, if unusual, factory look. Prepping middle plates. Why do I even have a middle plate? Well, my guitarist son and I agreed we wanted a 6.5 centimeter body width. The Marupa body blanks I can get here are 4.5 centimeters, so I had to glue two of them together. Uh, rather than hope no one sees the join, I decided to highlight it with the Vignacico plate, so I had to join the Vignacico into a board. Gluing and preparing the body. Sandwiching the blanks, Vignacico and the veneers would have been a lot easier if I'd done it in one massive block, but then I wouldn't be able to cut it with my jigsaw and I wouldn't be able to thin it on my jig. Doing it this way was quite sketchy and though I wound up with imperfections, I was able to reach a result I'm happy with.
Routing the body. The body route was quite epic and not very straightforward. Lots of sand did needed after to fix some of the little mistakes. sanding body. They say you should do your sanding without any expectations of how long it'll take, as it'll invariably drag on quite a bit. I'm going to have to sand and re-sand many times and use a lot of grain filler.
other cavities. Jack, knobs, tummy tuck and arm relief. Finally I drilled the hole for the jack. Started kind of wonky but managed to save it in the end. I also made the cavity for the control knobs. I don't want them on the front of the body and neither do I want them to be visible. So I'm doing a deep cavity that can easily be accessed by the player. The humbuck I'm putting in will run a coil split, so you need to be able to grab the button. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.